Hi pet lovers, thank you for joining Gina's grooming channel. Today we're going to be talking about degreasing a pet. So my tips and tricks on how to degrease a pet in certain areas. We have Parker here today. He's a little Maltese mix who had a double ear infection. And so that medicine from that ear infection made his ears very, very greasy, which is very common. So we're going to go through some of the things that are commonly done by groomers to get through that grease and give them a healthy ear. Now, before I go through the steps that I do to degrease an ear, I want to answer a question that a lot of clients ask. And that question is, why can't we use our household detergents, our degreasing detergents? And we see a lot of commercials where these detergents are used for wildlife, uh, for oil spills, for environmental disasters. So there is definitely a place in the world where these help, but they don't necessarily help with our pets because we can do better. We have better and healthier options available to us that are not as drying or irritating as a degreasing detergent, an industrial detergent can be. Let's get back to Parker and let's go through the steps that I do to degrease ears and keep the skin underneath the ears or wherever we're degreasing healthy. So step one is to use an oil-based conditioner to dry coat. So I am using the Envirogroom Berry Silk because it has a lot of natural oils. The oilier, the better. So we want good oils to attract the bad oils. We have to go back to chemistry and realize that water and oil do not mix, but oil attracts oil. So by putting conditioner on a dry, oily area, okay, we are going to be attracting the bad oil with the good oil so the good grease from that conditioner and i'm working it in really deeply using as much conditioner as i need to really soak through those greasy greasy areas and i'm working with ears so you have to be careful obviously not to get any conditioner in the ears we're not going to be getting any water into his ears but we really want to get that conditioner soaked into that coat Step two, we are gonna bathe as usual. Okay, so I'm gonna let the conditioner sit on those ears while I wash the rest of his body. I'm just applying shampoo, this isn't the rinse. And then I go and rinse off the conditioner from where I put it on. So in this case, Parker's ears. Be very, very careful to pinch those ear canals, make sure that no water gets in there, but rinse um, the conditioner off that hopefully grabbed a lot of that grease and that oil, that dirt. Now I'm gonna go through and just wash Parker's face as normal. I'm using my normal face wash that's tearless, um, but then what I'm gonna do is use a special degreasing shampoo that is pet friendly for pets on the affected areas. So I'm gonna use my Chubbs Bar. Chubbs Bars were created for cats but have really good natural products and degreasing agents in their shampoos and they are a bar. So you basically lather up and lather into those affected greasy areas, making sure to be very, very thorough. Okay, now I'm doing my rinse. I'm gonna be rinsing off all the product, okay, all the shampoo that I used from the ears and I start with the ears first uh, making sure that uh, they're rinsed but remembering that I'm gonna rinse off the body but I always go back to those ears those are the last things that I check because those are the parts of the body on all pets that usually uh, hold shampoo the longest so I'm gonna be extra extra careful and extra thorough that those ears are rinsing clean there is no product and obviously getting no water into the ears Step six, we are going to dry, brush, and comb thoroughly. I'm using a stand dryer because I don't want to blow by a face of a pet uh, with my hose dryer. And I'm individually picking out if there's any snarls, any mats. I did have to clip her through uh, some parts of the back of his ears, but that's what happens when dirt collects on oil. And here is that beautiful boy. Let's take a look at those ears a little more close up. A natural way to degrease. Again, we have to clip her out some of those matting in the back. Let's see what he looked like before with those greasy ears. Definitely an improvement and without having to use any harsh detergents. We did this naturally. Guys, thank you so much for your time. If you like this video, we appreciate that thumbs up and for subscribing. We will see you soon.